Do you wanna save time while building landing pages? Who doesn't? Let's find out in this video. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. So Marketing Starter is one of those features that was recently rolled out to HubSpot, and it's got a lot of power in just this small package. If you're not quite ready for Marketing Pro, Marketing Starter might be just what you need to have those landing pages to capture any sort of leads from eBooks to webinars, any type of asset. And with saved sections, you actually can save time by creating standard sections that you might use across pages. So really good use cases for this might be the bottom of webinars. You wanna have specific key takeaways or key resources that you offer for every webinar. You can create saved sections that do just that. So let's dive in and take a look. All right, here we're gonna create a fake landing page just to show you how this looks. We're gonna call this test page. All right, so when you're on Marketing Starter, you're going to have a small amount of templates to choose from, but that's okay because you can do so much with the drag and drop features and save sections that don't let that limit you. So we're actually going to go to this basic feature here. I really like this one because it, it seems to be laid out in a way that makes a lot of sense to various users. So when we go into this area, we've got this content and then we've got all these different sections. The way these pages are made up is you've got sort of this kind of bigger section and then you've got these smaller tables that warrant some of the images and text inside. So as you hover over, we're going to get rid of this sidebar for a second. As you hover over, you'll see that there's this down arrow on the right hand side of this column here. And if you click on that, it'll say save section. So what we're gonna do is think about this in terms of your marketing and the landing pages that you are creating. So first of all, you're always going to have sort of this hero section. If you want this to be something that you can have consistent across different properties, you might save this section. However, I'm going to think that most likely this section is gonna change. If you go down the page, however, perhaps every time you want to feature a resource in this second section that is in tandem with this uh, main section up here. Now, the thing I want you to be careful of is just because you can doesn't mean you should. A best practice for landing pages is every single exit from this landing page should be to the place you want them to go. So typically on a landing page where you have a form and you're capturing information, you might have additional resources that might highlight that, that asset, but you don't typically wanna send them off the page. Now, where this might come in though is on a thank you page where it says, hey, thank you for registering for this webinar. Here's some additional resources you may wanna check out. That's great, that's like inviting them into the store, letting them check out, and then being like, hey, here's these freebies on the way out the door. Really valid strategy, and you can do that here in save sections. So let's assume for just a second that this is a thank you page. We're going to get rid of this form here. So I'm going to delete that. We're actually going to get rid of this entire row. So let's say that this is a thank you for registering. And then below this, we've got, you may also enjoy. And then we've got maybe a check out the case study about XYZ. And then let's assume that this case study is actually a photo or a mock-up or something that might draw interest. And then we could actually put a button here. So I'm going to go back to home. Let's add a button into this area here, down at the bottom. And we're going to left align this, perhaps. Here we go. And we're gonna add some spacing under the bottom of this. Again, super easy here on the drag and drop. Not a developer, just adding some padding. You'll get the hang of it. We're going to go ahead and add padding on the bottom so I get some space. Looks like I need a little bit more. So we're gonna click on save. Perfect. Okay, so we've added a button link here and this probably is gonna say, you know, read now or read the case study, whatever that is. And then make sure that you've actually got them heading to whatever that content is. If you wanted to upload a file, if it's a PDF, you can do that here. If it's maybe contact us for something, again, the options here are pretty wide. But I do want to save this. So let's say on every landing page that I do for a webinar, I wanna drop this resource in and not do this every time and kind of like fiddle around. So I can go up to the top of this section, I can hover over this arrow, and then I'm gonna click on save section. This is where your naming conventions come in. So I'm gonna name this one resources, and then let's say case study. Short description is going to be, um, the case study about XYZ, perfectly, and save. All right, so how this then manifests itself. So imagine I'm on a new page and I'm gonna delete this section for a second. 
we're gonna click on delete. And I want to add that section in here because I know that I've got it. The copy's already set, the links are set, and I'm just gonna drop it in. So I'm gonna hover over this section here and I've got this little plus button. So when I click on the plus button, what it's going to show me is my saved sections. Look at that, awesome. So I'm going to go to this select section we just made here and we plop it in and it is right there just like we described it. So that's really easy, save sections and landing pages. The best feature I think inside of Marketing Starter. If you have a higher level of HubSpot, you're probably not gonna have it look just like this because you have a lot more options to customize and build specific sections that look and feel like your brand, but that's, you know, that's definitely at the advanced level. This here on the Starter, super easy. Make those save sections and then put them across your landing pages for ease of use as well as consistent branding across your company. For more tips, tricks, and how-tos, hit that subscribe button and we will see you next week.